Hello, my name's Charlotte Blackburn and I'm a performer and a producer based in Sheffield. You're very much involved in creating theatre in Sheffield. How did you first become involved in acting? I first became involved through Girls Brigade actually when I was five and then it's just developed from there, gone from more of a hobby to a profession. So yeah, 19 years I've been doing it now. <laughs> so you've been in a lot of performances, I would imagine. Which performances stand out for you? So the main thing that got me to me really think I want to do this as a profession was with a group called Born to Perform where I got to sing and that's my main passion and we put it on at the library theatre and I was only 15 and I loved it, it was amazing and then at the moment I'm doing a performance of Alice in Wonderland which is walking around and you get to like happen upon the different characters and I'm the caterpillar and I love it, it's like a childhood dream. Is that quite interactive? Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant, so uh, we're going up to Cumbria next weekend, I will be like in a little cove with the waterfall behind me and it's going to be amazing. Northern Art is on Thursday the 26th of May at Theatre Delhi, which you run with Tim Norwood. What gave you the idea for Northern Art? So it started in December 2014. In the September we were thinking of things we could do in Sheffield and at that time there wasn't many opportunities in the north. A lot of them were down south and we were both thinking like we want to stay northern. How can we keep these opportunities alive? So we spoke to Theatre Delhi and they said, yep, you can do a festival here. But we wanted to make it so it's accessible to everyone. So it's pay what you decide because we don't think money should come in between people seeing work. And then we wanted to make sure the artists could keep making their work. So all of that money that people donate goes straight back to the artists so they can ensure that they can keep creating the amazing work they're doing up here. Fantastic. So Theatre Delhi is on the moor opposite Debenhams. Yes. Can you describe it for someone who hasn't been before? It's like Aladdin's cave. So when you walk past, there's all different artworks on the windows and it looks incredible. And that's by an artist called Grace. She's amazing. And then you walk through, there's a cafe, there's lots of different performance spaces. There's about 20 different rooms over one, two, three, four, five floors. And it's just amazing. It's a bit like urban exploring, I guess, going through all these different spaces. It's incredible. And it used to be a shop. Yes, it used to be the old Woolworths. And now it's a theatre space, which is amazing. Fantastic, with a spooky basement as well, isn't yes. it? Yes, <laughs> a really scary basement that I don't like to go down by myself. <laughs> so you've got Northern Art coming up on the 26th. Can you tell us a bit about what's going to be happening? So... Northern Art is, this time there's six different performances. I'll be performing with a friend called Valentina uh, as part of Zealous Collective, which is dancers working with non-dancers. I'm the non-dancer. Valley is the very trained dancer. There's going to be poetry. There's going to be different types of dance. There's going to be performance work. There's international tour work. There's an artist called Dawn Robinson, who is doing a performance about becoming proper British. So that's incredible. Fantastic. It's a really interesting evening, isn't it? You don't know what's coming up next no no one knows um, so we kind of like give people little tasters and then they just kind of we guide them through the space to happen upon these different performances so there's a poetry phone box this time yeah lovely <laughs> I've actually performed at Northern Art before as you know and it's a really relaxed atmosphere isn't it really friendly and you and Tim create a really good atmosphere thank you we try to make people feel as relaxed as possible as we think that theatre should be enjoyed and you shouldn't just have to sit and watch you can be part of the work you can if something not to your taste you can go and get a drink there's we make sure there's going to be food on for everybody and make sure there's something for every single person hopefully yeah it's lovely isn't it like about the most homely theatre I've been to I think <laughs> thank you so what do you think is the secret of Northern Arts success oh that's a good question I think it's just the fact that we make it very accessible to everybody we don't put people off by saying it's X amount of money and the fact that we make such a variety but people know that their money is going straight back to the artists like we don't take anything and the fact that it's just it's building because the Sheffield's becoming gradually more and more open to different types of work it's not just sit down and watch a play it's very much there's dance there's performance art there's live art there's spoken word nights it's it's getting great so you've got another event on Wednesday the 1st to Friday the 3rd of June what's that going to be <laughs> this is my solo show called Edgar and Me. It was created in August last year and I've been gradually working on it with Tim Norwood and by the help of Alex Kelly and Third Angel and that's about my friendship with a guy on death row and how we've been talking for four and a half years now. Wow so that's actually from your real life. Yes it's a true story. Wow. <laughs> a lot of people think it's fiction but no it's 100% true everything that I tell you. So that's on for three nights at Theatre Delhi? Yes that's on the yeah Monday 1st, 2nd and 3rd of June at Theatre Delhi Contessa from 7.30.
and it's an hour long show. Great, and have you performed that before? Yes, I've performed it in Brussels and London and Leeds so far. So gradually working my way around, I'm back down at Camden People's Theatre with it in August. Fantastic, so without giving too much away, can you tell us what to expect? You get to hear our letters, it's very open and honest. Depending on how I'm feeling when I perform it, I sometimes cry. When I created it, I thought it was just me telling a story about my friendship, but actually it's quite a political piece about the American justice system and how you're treated as a death row in mate because no one really knows you only hear and see what's on tv in front of you but this is actually like from his perspective and it's all true and honest because we never intended to make a show about it i just asked ed to go one day if he minded he was like no that's amazing so he's very much involved in it as well so you've performed it elsewhere do you think that's going to enrich the performance in sheffield i hope so yeah, and I've got a lot of friends and family who want to come and see it. So I think it's just gathering all these experiences and I've been able to tweak with it and play with it. So now it's like a full version all come together now. So that's at Theatre Delhi on the 1st to the 3rd of June. And is it a free performance? Tickets are £8 and £7. And then there's Delhi Meets on the Wednesday and whoever comes to Delhi Meets and then comes to Edgar and me afterwards gets tickets for a fiver. So you're a very busy person. What's next for you? Next is... Is, oh, that's a really good question. I'm going to be directing and producing Tim Norwood's new piece, Apocalypse of the Mind. And then I'm going to be working on a festival that will be happening in December that will be like three or four days long with everyone involved, but predominantly artists from the North will feature in it. So how can people find out more about Northern Art and Edgar and me? We have a Facebook page, which is Charlotte and Tim, or follow me on Twitter, which is, it's a really long name, it's Char Elizabeth 92 or Charlotte underscore Tim for Twitter, and there's all our information on there. Great, or just pop in Theatre Day. Yeah, pop in Theatre Day, the and come and talk to me, I'm always around. Yeah, the cafe's really good as well, isn't it? Yes, the cafe's open Thursday to Saturday at the moment, 11 while 4, and that's doing amazing. There's got chai latte, which is the best in Sheffield. In fact, the best in the world so far. <laughs> I went to America and they couldn't do it as good as here. 